Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, you know, it's a very, very late session, so I just want to double check you guys are in the right session. Yeah, because I assume mo most of you guys should be uh, for shopping and just look around and, you know. So what we are going to talk is Docker and yeah. So this is uh, for the project overview and update, but based on the last uh, release for Alcata and current pack release and maybe cover a little bit Queens. So just in case, uh, if you are not really familiar what is Docker does, so Docker is a messaging service, and uh, you can um, you can reference like uh, uh, SQS service and SNS service in AWS, and uh, you may also ask uh, what is the what is the relationship between RabbitMQ and Docker? I would say. Uh, I was asked that question many, many, many times. So they are totally different. Uh, because generally, as a tenant user, you can deploy your own RabbitMQ cluster, that's for sure. But the problem is you have to maintain the cluster for high availability because yeah, if you're running a production and using queue service, you you don't want to see uh, the cluster is die. You don't want to lose any message, right? So, so the pain is you have to maintain the cluster. But if you are using uh, a messaging service like Docker or uh, even SQS, you don't have to worry about the, the service. You just need to post messages to the queue and pull the message from the queue. You don't have to maintain the cluster. That's the totally different. So, Docker is a you know is a messaging service in OpenStack world, as mentioned, just like uh, SQS. And for now, we are providing an HTTP uh, transport, and also you can use a web socket as well for better performance. So. When we see the, the user, the users of Docker is like the tenant user of uh, OpenStack. But currently what we are seeing is more and more uh, OpenStack project want to integrate with Docker so that, um, so for that case, Docker is most like a infrastructure service, just like Neutron and Noah and Gans. It's, it's not really the original goal of Docker, but it's happening. For example, we are, we are getting a requirement from some companies like uh, telecom companies. Uh, the customer would like to get the, the resource chain notifications from, from the OpenStack uh, infrastructure. But currently, there is no way for OpenStack to get the notifications from the, the RAMMQ of the end layer infrastructure, right? Because you don't have the permission. It belongs to the, the cloud provider. So what we are trying to do is we would like to provide a way to forward the notifications from either a searchlight or a, a cellometer to Zucker. And in Docker, because Docker is a multi-tenant uh, messaging service, so those messages can be forwarded by, by the third-party service, searchlight or accelerometer to Docker. And you can see, as a the tenant user, you can see the notifications from, uh, hap is happening from your, your resources. So is there any question? No, okay. So, so the background. Um, the background of Zachary is very interesting, actually. Uh, it's founded in Grizzly, and uh, in last release, we have uh, 38 contributors. Not too much, but we are still alive. And uh, now, there are 40% uh, 
clouds are in production or uh, test phase. I, I know uh, Rackspace is running Zakra as a, a messaging service, but I would say they're using a very old version. So not really active. But for, for us, uh, we, are, we are hosting a public cloud based in New Zealand and using OpenStack. We would like to uh, use Zakra as a messaging service because we do have some requirements from our customers. And uh, there are about 21% of users indicated they would like to use Zakra. Um, we, we just had some discussion recently, uh, not recently, actually, always, about the, the, the position of Zakra. Because what we can see is um, most of the deployments of, of OpenStack is private cloud. For public cloud, there are in, in Europe, in US, in New Zealand, in China, but not too much, I would say. So in private cloud, the, requir uh, the requirement for messaging queue is not really strong, I would say, because most of the, cu most of the, the, the customers running, running private cloud is most like just from the, the virtualization plus to a cloud, and they're still running some legacy application on the private cloud. So it's, the problem is, so when I say legacy application, that means those applications are not really distributed. So if, if, the if the application is not really distributed, that basically means there's not really strong requirement for the, for the messaging queue. I think that's why there, you know, there's not too much um, adoption for Docker until now. But we can see more and more uh, public cloud uh, using OpenStack, so hopefully we can get more uh, adoptions in the future. And, and I would say in the OpenStack world, you don't have you know, another good choice. If you would like to use Docker and you are interested in Docker, please come to talk with us and we can maybe, yeah, to make it better. So here are some features and enhancements uh, we have done in our Kata release because I, I mentioned this because actually this page, it is a template, but this page is not in the original template. But because we are, we are transitioning from the, the traditional OpenStack design submit to PTG plus submit, so I, I think it would be nice to mention some features we have done in our kata so that you can get some uh, more clear ideas. So we start uh, our kata, we can support uh, Swift as a message store. So in case you, you don't really understand what's the message store, I just give it a, a quick, briefly introduction. So in, in Docker, we only have two layers. One layer is uh, the transport layer. So for transport layer, as I mentioned, we, we can use HTTP, it's whiskey, and WebSocket. And for the, for, the, for the database layer, for the storage layer, we have management store and message store. So for management store, management store will maintain the pools. For pools, actually, each pool is a message store, so, so that you can install your message into different pools based on the weight you set for the, for the message store, so that you can get a horizontal scaling. So, so why I see the, the support for Swift is very important is just because with that way, you don't have to deploy a separated MongoDB cluster. For us, uh, Catalyst Cloud, we tried to deploy Zucker last year, but our ops are not really happy to deploy another Mongo cluster because we have planned to switch uh, from Slowmeter to Noki, and that means we will release three MongoDB nodes 
because yeah, with Noki, you may use Ceph or uh, Swift as a backend. So they just said, ah, let's wait, because I don't want to deploy another MongoDB cluster because I would like to wait until we release the current MongoDB. So we have said, okay. So we, we Swift because I think most of the, uh, the cloud providers has, uh, uh, have deployed Swift. So can, you can just use Swift and with Swift you can have the built-in uh, uh, geography replicate. So your message is very um, reliable at that case. And uh, we also supported um, circuit alchemy migration, but that migration is only for the uh, management layer. As I mentioned, for storage layer, uh, we have management store and message store. So for that case, yeah, it's, it's a ugly uh, technology depth, but we just fixed it. And we also support uh, OS profiler. I know, uh, I think in Alcata or Newton, Horizon also done that work to support um, a profiler panel. I think it's very important for uh, either private cloud or public cloud because we do really care about its performance. So with OS profiler, you can see the, uh, figure out the bottleneck of your uh, Zucker server. Okay, so the, the new feature and uh, enhancement we would like to do for PAC. So the first one is the service queue. As I mentioned, um, with service queue, you can forward the notifications is happening in your infrastructure Rambium queue cluster to your tenant user. It's a very useful feature because, yeah, you can imagine Currently, there is no way to get the, uh, the notifications from your end layer infrastructure. And the dead letter queue. Dead letter queue, we are storing uh, those messages for developer to look uh, for some common patterns of the potential software problem. To be more clear, um, if a message in Docker has been claimed, maybe def depending on the, uh, the claim count you are citing, maybe for example three, if it has been cl uh, claimed three times and still hasn't been deleted, then it could be a dead letter. So we can just uh, forward, uh, just move those messages to the dead letter queue. So that in the future, the, the developers can take a look what happened. And another feature we like to do is a notification delivery policy. So in Docker, Docker is actually like a, a combination of SQS and SNS. That means you can, you can create some uh, sorry, you can create some subscriptions on a queue so that when there is a message posted to your queue, your subscriber will be notified. So for that case, uh, currently we can support uh, email as a subscriber and uh, HTTP and either HTTPS. And we can also uh, support trust. So in OpenStack, you can, you, you can use trust to get rid of the, uh, the authentic authentication problem. This is a very good feature. And uh, so, so what is the, the notification delivery policy means. It means when you try to uh, post, a, post the, the messages to the subscriber, you could be fail. So with the, the delivery policy, you can some, set some retry policy. For example, uh, the retry intro after three uh, seconds or uh, 30 seconds, I will try again to send the message or something like that. So to make sure you can uh, forward, notify your sub subscriber successfully. Okay, uh, any question? Okay, uh, here is um, the focus for Zucker impact release. So the major focus is uh, scalability. 
That's for sure because we are a messaging service and we really care about its performance. And uh, the user experience. So for user experience, currently we are working very hard for the uh, Docker UI. So currently in Docker UI, uh, you, can, you can create a queue, you can update the queue, you can update the metadata of the queue, and uh, you can create a subscriber subscriptions on the queue. And you can even do some basic tasks like uh, post and get messages from the queue. Uh, and we can also create a pool on the uh, horizon panel. Like I mentioned, a pool is actually a, a message store. So you can, based on the, the latest version, you can create a Swift pool if not, you, you're not really care about the performance because you can expect the, perform, uh, the performance of Swift driver could be slow than the, uh, the Mongo driver and Redis driver because each uh, request and response when you talk to Swift is by HTTP, it could be slow. And uh, in the future, we may create a middleware in Swift so that you can post uh, multiple messages for Swift because currently Swift doesn't really support that. <coughs> and we can, we can also support uh, create the pool flavors. I, I, I won't touch the details, but just in case. Any question? No? Okay. Uh, for the Queen's release, we will still focus on the scalability and uh, recency and user experience. Actually, um, I, I mentioned that in my uh, self-nomination for, for the PTF, Docker, for this release for, for PAC. Actually, in, in Docker, we only care about uh, three um, indicators. The first one is uh, the latency. The latency means uh, when you post the messages to a queue, how long it will take. And uh, when you claim a message, how long it will take. And another one is uh, the scalability. Scalability means, in Zachary, it means if I have a lot of queues, I have a lot of main, uh, messages in the queue, I can get a uh, a reasonable response time, no matter how much of your, you have the queue in, in your Zachary um, server and how many messages in your queue. So another one is the, uh, the stability. So those three indicators are, are interop actually uh, conflict with each other, for example, if you, you want to get um, short latency, but you may lose some uh, scalability or uh, reliability. So we're still working very hard to make uh, a balance. So that is the hard part. Okay. Uh, the possible features and enhancements, enhancements for, for queens could be Kota. Actually, Kota is a tricky, is a tricky thing in messaging service because uh, sometimes you don't want to limit your customer for, for messaging. For example, in AWS, you can have about um, 120,000 messages, active messages in your queue, that is a quota. But for, for PubSub service of Google, you won't have such kind of quota, you just have the, the rate limit. So it could be tricky, but what we would like to do is um, a, maybe a similar uh, quota, just like uh, AWS for the SQS but it depends on the setting. And uh, 
we may do some work to get a better performance for Swift driver because uh, we think it's a very good driver for most of the potential deployers. And uh, we will also remove the pool group. Pool group is another legacy concept in Docker. And a pool group basically like you can, you can make a lot of uh, pool message store as a group. So the, with that one, you can map that group to a flavor, but actually the flavor to a pool group is a one-one mapping. It not really makes sense. So we may remove that one. Okay, for for our release, I would say it's, it's too long to see for now. So yeah, I think we will still focus on those stuff I just mentioned in um, in Q. And the general idea for for Zucker team is um, I think we are still very small, and we we won't want uh, we don't want to add too much features in. In Docker, we would like to get a very stable message and queue service. And until we can see some very strong requirements, so personally, I don't want to add too much features in the next couple of releases. Okay, um, actually, we need your help. As I mentioned, if if you are public cloud, so I would like to to ask some adoption. For Docker, because I can see it's very useful. Uh, so the question is, uh, what feature or issues are preventing you from using Docker as a production service? And uh, in this summit, I can see some good thing is now we have a public cloud uh, working group. So maybe we, we will interlock with them to figure out if there's any potential deployers for Docker. And another s question for, for developer is, um, the Swift driver is still new, but personally, I really like it. And so I would like to, see, to get um, some feedback contribution for the driver to improve the performance, to make it stable. And uh, yeah, so any feedback and contribution about Docker for, to balance the, the scalability, availability, and the latency will be very common. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Thank you. If I understand right, um, you've got basically a, a user space or a tenant space message queue. Exactly. Is that is that basically just another instance of Rabbit? No. You have a different message transport. Like, um, I'm just wondering, can you use zero MQ or I mean? I would say it's, it's totally different. As, as I mentioned, you, technically, as an application developer. You can use RabbitMQ for sure, and Qubit and zero MQ, any right. Q service, but you have to maintain the cluster, right? Right. But for Docker, you just use it. You don't have to worry about the end layer stuff. Right. I'm just worried. But what's, but what? in 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 the backend and and the hood, we are using either Mongo or Redis okay. or Swift as okay. a backend to store your message to get a persistent. Uh, Okay, so it's like yeah. the Redis H push or R push and L L pop and I mean yeah it's, yeah okay. yeah so so technically you you just use HTTP to post your message and Docker sell your message into Mongo, that's it. Okay. Yeah, it's very simple. And then the other thing was I'm really interested in the service queue um, feature. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to review the spec. Yeah. Um, I'd be interested in expanding it beyond Searchlight and Solometer into Nova and I mean. For my yeah. application, I'm interested in in hearing all the messages that come in, potentially, yeah. you know, or subscribing to particular notifications yeah. from the different services. Yeah. Um, to, like I say, I'll review the spec and. Cool. Awesome. Uh, so. Yeah. Thanks.
Any other questions? No? Thank you. Thank you again for joining.